Monday here. It is vlog time. I know what that means, English people. Huh? This week I am cooking again, but first, a reminder, I'm going to be at VidCon next week and I need you guys' help. I've decided to do a vlog show from there, but I want to ask all my fans one question. The question is, what is that question going to be? Okay? Please leave your clever suggestions in the comments and I will integrate the winning one into the whole segment. And I'll send you something free. Ah, see, now you're typing. I understand you people so well. All right, it's time for Faye Five. Now, I, see, you th I was gonna say now, I didn't say now, no, I just said it three times. Number one, Russian people know how to make purses well out of felt, or at least this Etsy-based Krukru Studios is. For Doctor Who fans, they make this amazing Dalek purse, but I ordered this reel-to-reel -reel purse. How cool is this thing? Look, it's got pockets. I could put my reel in here. Waka waka. <laughs> cool thing was that it came in this box with a lot of Russian writing around the sides, but I forgot I ordered it. So I thought it was some kind of terrorist thing, but it wasn't. It was just a purse I forgot I ordered. Russians aren't terrorists anyway, are they? Hmm. I'm stupid. Number two this week was linked to me by my friend Jason Bergman. It's a website called Fan Write Fridays. That's for people who want to learn how to write comic books. Every week you get an assignment, you get six days to write six to eight pages of your comic, and then you post them on the forums for other people to give feedback on. I think it's a really awesome idea to create a safe, creative environment for people on the internet. On another serious self-help note, number three is a recipe for unicorn poop. If you're a bean demon, linked it to me. See, this is why I love you guys giving me suggestions. Yeah. Number four is an iOS game that I really enjoy called Rune Raiders. It's a turn-based strategy game where you hire heroes, level them up, and then hope they're in the right configuration as you proceed step by step to defeat your enemies. I have this theory that playing strategy games helps you improve your work process by organizing your brain. I justify a lot of video game playing like this, so don't you dare contradict me with science. Scientists, commenter, peoples. Lastly, I decided to clean my house up after a year of neglect, and having my priorities straight, I organized my dice collection. Look, I went to the craft store and I bought little boxes for each color, and then I organized them by color. This is my fire mage, and then we've got my ice, then we've got the warlock, which is purple. Am I missing any? No, don't tell me, because then I'll have to buy more little boxes. <laughs> I'll have to get more little boxes. Yes! In our segment this week, me and Robin try to cook sushi. How does it go? <laughs> Not well. Hey, we're back with Robin. Hey. Hi. Hi. And we're gonna make sushi today because neither of us have ever done that. Nope. I found this really cool blog, uh, marissabaggett.com, and the name of her blog is In the Kitchen with a Southern Sushi Chef, which I thought was kind of cool. We are making tuna sushi roll with bacon and apples. We have some nori, some apples, and some scallions, dried apples, sushi rice, bacon, and our tuna. We need to cut the tuna, tuna. into quarter inch wide strips. Whenever you touch the sushi rice, you yeah. need to put your fingers, we should probably wash our hands, right? Um, and we be sanitary. We're gonna take the rice, as instructed here, and we're gonna put it on here. Mm -hmm. But we gotta dip our hands in here. Dip it. Let's, let's make let's sure that's... Let's try to aspire to, to be to like at the least. southern sushi chef. We, uh, we could pat down anything right. together. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that is handy to have a rag here. Yeah, you're welcome for that idea. <laughs> flip seaweed over. How is that going to work? Okay, flip it over. One, how two, is this not going to... Wait, how One, is two, this three. not going to... No, wait, listen. How is this not going to stick? <laughs> Shouldn't this be on this thing? Not yet, no. Okay, so this is this. So let's just put this on top of here, just in case. Because eventually and we're going to And then you're going to flip it. No, I don't think we should do this. What are you talking about? <laughs> so we lift this up. This is not a good deal. It's going to stick. How is it not going to stick on there? Hold on. And then just solidify the fact that we're doing... Why are you patting it on there? <laughs> just... so, so now what we're going to do is place the tuna like this. In the horizontal, in the, in the middle of the nori, and it says to make sure it extends to both edges of the nori. Yeah. Bacon. Bacon. So you can cut it in little pieces, but I, I was like, let's just use strips. And Why it not? says one piece, I want three. All right. <laughs> I think maybe not use all that apple. That just seems like a lot of apple. Why are you? You supposed to take stuff as you go along? Right? I like to just save it for the end. There's a lot of vinegar in that. <laughs> now roll. let's roll it. All right. Okay. 
Oh, oh God. Fuck. Keep going, Shit. keep going. Just keep going. Shove it. No wonder Sushi Chefs has such small, uh... I don't know. No wonder Sushi Chefs have <laughs> such soft hands. <laughs> I don't uh, know what I was gonna say there. This Cover is a down. mean roll. Look how monto that is. <laughs> It's like a burrito. It is. It's a, it's a burrito roll. Okay. Now we need to use the bamboo mat yeah. and form this properly. The finishing move. It's like yeah. when you sp hairspray your bangs. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think that's good. All right. All right. Look at that. What? <laughs> Mondo roll. Mondo roll. <laughs> Doesn't and even then, like. Oh, okay. Okay, so what do we, we need to cut it in six pieces. This is, you want to make it? Yeah. Oh, close you. Always make extra bacon. She said do this, and then do this. Okay. Oh, to knock the water down. Mm-hmm. I feel confident. Okay. Ooh, chug, chug. I mean, we need a, like a finishing. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm sorry? No, that's exactly what she said not to do. Oh, really? Yeah, she said. Uh, like cut it like like you're cutting. As far Ooh, as ingredients go, yeah. I mean I want all these in my mouth. Yeah. Mm. Look at this. I mean this is like straight. Oh. <laughs> this is not how you normally buy sushi. At the at the Robin and Felicia sushi shop, you get value. <laughs> Uh, if you uh, if you make your own, a hey, just post your pictures. Let's see if you can beat. Yeah, um, too. yeah. Let's see if you beat us. <laughs> first try, first timers. Uh, you want to eat a piece? <clears throat> okay. Do you want uh, chopsticks? Do you have them? No. See better with the yeah. extra bacon. All right, look. Down the hatch, huh? <laughs> it's actually pretty good. So thanks to Marissa Bagel for allowing me to use their scientists and food for some food. See you later. And check out Geek and Sundry Bonus Thursday this week when we upload an extra video of me and Robin cooking dessert sushi. Don't get spoiled, it won't happen often. All right, our question of note from Lord Michael who asks, I heard you could freestyle rap. Can you? <laughs> Dear Lord Michael, I'm not sure you heard that. Yo, 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 I'm Felicia Day, and here's what I gotta say. I'm in my garden. Here, we don't be carden. You come see flowers. This gives you powers. Yo, what up? Here's a blueberry on a blueberry. It's too, too, I can't do this. Okay. But no, I can't. Sincerely, Felicia Day. Okay, Lord Michael, your letter is on its way. All right, that's our show this week. And aren't you glad I didn't mention the flog shirt I've been wearing, which you can get on www.jigs.com or geekandsundry.com slash shop. Did you get that? Did you write it down? Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.